Hi, I'm Dennis Judy. I'm the Technical Director for EcoRadar, and today we're going to introduce you to our unique new formulation, our next generation called ER3. ER3 is a green formula that exhibits triple action effect. That's why we named it ER3. Not only does it serve a, a purpose against mosquitoes as an adulticide, but it also replaces other products in your arsenal because it can be used as a larvicide as well. And the unique formulation that we have here also gives us a spatial repellency, so mosquitoes can be repelled from areas where they are, they are not wanted. This new green formulation is going to help you immensely as you go into your mosquito reduction programs. One of the first things that we do is a thorough inspection. We will walk the property and do a thorough survey of the site to determine any potential for mosquitoes to breed or to locate their resting sites. When we do this, we have to ask ourselves three questions. Number one, are there any structural problems that are conducive to water retention? The second question we have to ask is what items might be present that have the ability to retain water? And third, we have to ask does the environment itself provide potential breeding sites? As we get involved in the inspection, we will use the Mosquito Reduction Inspection Report as our basic guideline. The report is a checklist of potential breeding sites that may be found as you walk the property. Check off those sites identified during your inspection and note their location on the report. While you're doing this report, look for structural elements such as flat roofs, blocked or poorly drained rain gutters, downspouts, the drain lines on air conditioning units, low decks and open crawl spaces, unscreened vents that lead into the, pro the structure. Also check for detached storage sheds that have the potential to provide a breeding or resting site for the mosquitoes. While doing your inspection, make note of any container that is holding or has a potential to hold water. Remember, this could be something as small as a bottle cap, or it could be as large as a boat or a swimming pool. Look for tree holes. Search for heavy weeds or shrubs, any plants, any small ponds or wooded areas that provide potential for standing water, and also look for all the shaded resting sites. The next phase of our program is source reduction. Mosquitoes take about seven days to thoroughly go through their life cycle. The first three stages in their cycle are the aquatic stages. The eggs, the larvae, the pupae all develop in water until they emerge as adults. Therefore, the best way to prevent mosquito breeding is to remove stagnant water. And this can be accomplished in a number of ways. One method is to physically remove the item that has potential to hold stagnant water. Things such as garden implements that have the ability to retain water. Garbage cans, small pails. So empty the water from these, cover them with lids, or turn them upside down so that they drain. Another method that we can use to control mosquitoes is cultural controls. Cultural methods can be utilized to reduce the potential sources of mosquito breeding. They can also be used to eliminate potential resting sites that can attract adult mosquitoes. Proper mowing and trimming reduce the resource areas required by mosquitoes for their resting sites. Rain gutters can be cleaned and repaired so that all water flows freely into and out of the downspouts without collecting in the gutters. Standing water in small ponds or in pools can be helped by using pumps and filters to prevent stagnation. If the water is moving, then the pupae stage of the mosquito cannot live in it. A proper treatment regimen is important for the control of mosquitoes after you've done your source reduction efforts and your cultural control practices. All right, before we get started with our treatment, I wanted to give you a few tips on the mixing of the product. The ER3 comes in this convenient tip and measure uh, gallon size container. So the first thing I'm going to instruct you to do is shake it up real good. There are four different active ingredients in this product. We want to make sure they're all blended well before you put them into your sprayer. 
Now you have an option here as well. Uh, you really need to agitate things good in the sprayer before you start treating. This is a big old heavy sprayer. I don't like picking it up and shaking it. So what I like to tell people to do is measure with your tip and pour. You can get the right amount of product into the reservoir, the four ounce mark. Take that product and put it in a separate container. We'll go through that process again because I want to use eight ounces of product for this application. Get it measured into your tip and pour in the right quantity. Now that we've got it into this other container that has water in it already, I can agitate this mixture before I put it into the spray tank. So just take that, agitate it really well, and now you can take this mixture that you have, pour it into your sprayer, and you'll be ready to go. This new product contains a blend of natural ingredients that are applied as a light mist with a sprayer. Preferably a high volume air blast that pushes the product into the foliage and into other difficult to reach spots. This light mist can be applied to grass, shrubbery, foliage, under shaded areas such as storage sheds and decks, and around animal shelters, dog houses, and etc. Eco Raiders formula ER3 works well as a larvicide and can be applied to potential breeding sites that you are unable to control through physical or cultural methods. Potential treatment areas for ER3 include things like bird baths, urns, water gardens, tree holes, rain barrels, flower pots, roof gutters, ornamental foundations, and when used as directed, ER3 will not adversely affect humans, animals, fish, or vegetation. Adult mosquitoes can fly freely to any non-protected place. Barrier treatments will provide longer lasting controls to areas where mosquitoes like to hide and rest. A more effective and a longer lasting method of mosquito reduction is through the use of barrier controls. Barrier controls readily lend themselves to large areas or to small backyards. Years ago it was discovered that by applying a perimeter strip of barrier protection, mosquitoes, while they're capable of flying over the barrier strip, resisted that treated area within the barrier. Space treatments will place the product in the air which floats with the breeze to contact and knock down adult mosquitoes. So this fogging type treatment is an excellent way to clear a large area of adult mosquitoes because the product floats into almost every nook and cranny. Reporting procedures are especially important to the success of mosquito reduction programs. Proper use of the Mosquito Reduction Inspection Report on each visit is vital in establishing good customer relations and enlisting the customer's support in your mosquito reduction program. Be sure you identify all applicable breeding sites and check off the appropriate control strategies and control methods for each. Your training will emphasize the importance of understanding mosquito biology and habits as related to your reduction strategies and your control methods. Customer education is just as critical. You must set the proper expectations that they will have for your mosquito reduction program. Your knowledge and thorough inspection process, coupled with dynamic communication to your customer, will make you the most important part of this program. Together you and your customer can reduce their exposure to mosquito bites and help prevent the spread of mosquito-borne illnesses. You are indeed a protector of public health. So there you have it. Our unique new formulation Eco Raider ER3 has been very helpful in our mosquito reduction efforts. With this new generation formulation we've been able to achieve triple action mosquito reduction with one single product. This product has been very useful as an adulticide as well as giving us the opportunity to use the same product 
as our larvicide application. All this while giving us some spatial repellency which will keep mosquitoes from an unwanted area. I think you'll find if you try this product that it will save you a lot of effort, a lot of time, uh, less need for other products to be used in your arsenal, and you'll get favorable results from this unique new green formulation, Eco Raider ER3.